It's only just broken the skin. There are better ways of committing suicide than carrying meat. Especially now we've got urban dogs. Urban dogs? Mm, Sheffield and Manchester. Run out of food there, they've moved out. Soon have every sheep between here and Buxton. I've not been that far north. Where are you from? Down the river, in a valley. People call Walter, do you know them? I'm from upstream myself. Well, there are four of us staying there. I'm trying to find Mrs. Walter's son so we can move on. He's called Tom. He's about 25, I'm told. Big fellow. A lot of big fellows. We'll have the fire there, away from the dogs. We've got to get rid of the meat. Might as well eat it. Since when did people shake hands? Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. I forgot it's been a long time since the death. Things worse than the death. Well, my name's Charles Vaughan. Richard Fenton, for what it's worth. Where did you get the, uh, automatic? I liberated an army camp on the moors just after the death. I've got more back at my place. I'll trade you one. <laughs> Nothing to trade, I'm afraid. Then I'll lend you one. Can't see you getting the chop after my great rescue, can I? How can you be so certain that I'll return it? Anyone who offers to shake hands is either honest or a fool. I don't think you're a fool. I was very grateful to be alive. Where do you live? About 15 miles further on. Four of you, are there? Yes. Looking for a friend? Yes. How many times have I heard that? What? People looking for a friend. Are you sure you haven't seen him? I meet only those I barter with. Mind you, that's most people. Indian trader selling guns. That and other things. I'll look up my notes when we get back. Notes? I amuse myself writing down the ambitions, the, the fears, the phobias, routes taken, routes proposed. Really? Well, how long have you been doing that? Since it all started. Or ended. But you must have the most incredible amount of information. Might make a Canterbury Tales one day. Oh, I mean, we had records, but what you got must be a record of, of, of half a nation. Mm, certainly a lot of people moving north and south from the Midlands. Well, look, look. What I want to do is, I want to get people to, to join up, to, to, to federate, to use whatever technology we've got. Thank you. So, of course, any information about movement is vital, and you've got it. You obviously have a sense of mission. Oh. I can't be the first person you've met who talks like that. Oh, no. I get regional water borders, clerks, 
little people with big ideas. Uh, I'm sorry. Obviously, you don't accept it. Yeah, let's make a start. Thank you. It's not just big ideas. It's, it's, it's common sense. It's, it's, it's fact. It's survival. What is the indomitable spirit of mankind? The untiring, ceaseless urge to progress, improve. Isn't that rather old hat now? I don't see how you can be so detached. It keeps me sane. It doesn't help people. Oh, come, Charles. We're medieval now. After all, what have we had? The end of our society. The reverse of 1,000 years of social, political and economic progress. Then people like you, understandably, come along and talk as though we just had an air raid. Stiff uffers and a cup of tea and we'll oh, be all no, right. Oh, no, no, no. That was a terrific shot. You saved my life. Pure luck. Oh, true. I'm a bad shot. Pure luck. Rather, I took a chance and hit you rather than let you catch rabies. Of course, you wouldn't know. There's quite a bit in this area. Animals probably escaped from quarantine in Manchester and Liverpool. You won't see anything. The dog wasn't frothing. You've not come across rabies? No. Quite a few people live in this area. Like the dogs came out from Sheffield and Manchester. They keep sheep, mostly. Rabies is a problem. How long is the incubation period? Hmm. Anything from 11 days to a year. The dog jumped at me the other day. Hmm. Took the meat right out of my mouth. Impossible to believe. Fortunately, I had my rifle with me. Meat to a dog is like blood to a shark. That won't do any good. Saliva only has to make contact with the skin. Rabies doesn't even need to scratch. If it's in the bloodstream, it's too late. Why didn't you tell me? I thought you'd know. I was bandaging a fellow up the other day. Are you a doctor? Yes, actually, I am. Do you know, in our community, we went through hell without a doctor. We had to go to London, even, to bring back a medical student. We had to fight rats, even. Now you fight dogs. And you can just sit around and be amused? Oh, no. Sometimes I go out. I trade some ammunition and rescue ersatz political leaders from dogs. Do you have any medical supplies? No. Have you tried to get any? No. General practice? No. So you're a specialist? What do you specialize in? Education. Sheffield University, further education. I'm a doctor of philosophy. to the front, cannons behind. We'd better get cracking. Burn these dogs. If they got rabies, they're as dangerous dead as alive. What are the chances? They didn't show any signs. Look, if you're not so keen on cooperating, what? I mean, what keeps you going? Yes! What kept me going before? The human predicament. How people survive. Especially without automatic rifles. Think of all the great reformers, missionaries, saints, martyrs, politicians, generals. The pride and ego. All useless. Well, wasn't it? Look what survived. The fish in that river, even the dogs. It's man's pride that's fallen. And I just want to organize society because of my pride. You don't understand. It's mankind. Been in the wrong boat for 2,000 years, chasing myths. Progress. What progress? 
You are a nihilist. No, no, a realist. We live in the ruins of our created world, and I'm a nihilist. Well, if it's all so hopeless, why don't you just kill yourself? Because I want to see what happens. <laughs> but like God, sitting back and watching to see how we cope. I'd have thought if there's a God, then he's wrought his Armageddon. And we're all just going to die out. <laughs> see, to you, it's just a challenge, a gauntlet to be run, a test. Well, I don't like watching. I prefer action. <laughs> Charles Vaughan, survivor. Survival pack, two silver dollars, a pair of nylons, chewing gum, and prophylactics. Perhaps but I have a memory of a more comfortable world. I leave you to yours. Thanks. Charles, are you afraid? No, I'm angry. What about your automatic? I met a fellow like you arguing about restoration. He'd been up in a balloon to do it. A balloon? When was this? What was his name? Oh, a fanatic. He even tried to tell me he'd been to Norway. Greg Preston! When was this? You mean he hadn't been to Norway? Yes! What did he say? What was he doing? Well, he, he said he was looking for coal. Coal? Uh, open cast mining. I told him there were two or three in the area. Well, could he still be here? I'm now useful to the race. Oh, yes. <laughs> we get to your place before tonight? No. You'll have to join me at my halfway house. I'm quite enjoying our discussion. Come on. the last times ever printed. Inflation reaches 28%. Oh. Shall I tell you what will happen? Typhoid, cholera, more plague. Because we're the product of antibiotic drugs and food, even fewer will survive than in feudal times. Child mortality will exceed child survival. Elliot was right. We'll end. Not with a bang, but with a whimper. Mm. I don't accept that. I know. And I envy you. Is that why you don't care about using up matches? No, yes. I'm bent on using up matches. On selling my rifle as an ammunition for bread and cheese. And I can't buy food any longer. Then I'll accept the inevitable. I wish I'd never met you. Talk like that undermines, eats away. But you'll be the same when the time comes. All it means is you'll last longer than me, fight longer and harder to survive. But there'll be the point when you'll lie down. fever or something. Don't come too near. I'll sweat it out. Oh, 
Got your horse ready. If we don't leave now, we won't be there before dark. Or you can tell me where you live. I'll go and get help. Fear of water. Just oh God, help me. tell me. Where you live. Can you get to your horse? God, God help me. Look, if you can get to your horse, I'll. Please, please. Expected, Charles. Might, might as well give me my rifle, please. Don't touch me on the face. Too late. I've got rabies. you live. Can you hear me, Richard? I must get to your notes. My name is Charles Vaughan. I've got a friend who's sick about a mile up the valley. 
What's he sick of? I don't know. Is there anywhere around here where I can get some drugs? Anyone with nursing experience? Not interested. He might die. Nothing new. He's got lots of rifles and ammunition. Where? Where he lives. If you can help me get him there, you can take what you like. What kind of rifles? Automatic, latest NATO stuff. What's his name? Fenton, Richard Fenton. Why didn't you say? Why, is he important? Ah, he's a friend. Round here, it's your own and nobody else's. That's the way we go. Do you know where he lives? Aye. Will you help me get him there? Not for his rifles. I'm not interested in his rifles. He's got some information about a friend. We'll see, won't we? Maniac, it's rabies! Get some water. Did you touch him? You tied him up. Your coat's ripped. Barbed wire. Take it off. Go on. See your arm. Turn it round, other side. How do you get that? 
dog bit me. It wasn't rabbit. When? Months ago. Same dog that bit him? He wasn't bitten. Ah, oh, then. Dog. Stole some meat from him. How long have you been with him? Well, he met him today. And you tied him up today? I wore gloves! Why? To be careful! You said you didn't know what he got. I didn't! If you die, you'll be eaten by dogs. Now, they go for our sheep and us. You're a time bomb. I'm sorry. Turn around. You'll feel nothing. You don't want to end up like him, do you? Turn round. Did you hit him? I think so. Well, if he's bleeding, the dogs will get him. Then we've got another big outbreak. We'll just have to nail him first. Hey! Ah, oh, I, uh, I got thrown from my horse about a mile back. Oh, I... <laughs> oh, haven't seen one of these for ages. Uh, how do you manage with uh, punctures and things? Uh, you find it difficult getting hold of uh, glue and stuff? No, not really. I used to, uh, used to race these. Oh, I... Uh, yes, I, uh, I finished up with a... Titanium bike. Very expensive. Mm. Well. Hey!
looking for a friend. His name is Richard Fenton. He lives around here. Do you know where? Mr. Fenton. Keep a watch on the ridge, not keep a watch this side. You kind of got far. You look down here, any road. We could have cut across top. I still say he doubled back. He wouldn't double back. How about Dick Fenton's place? The ride was the other one. Well, he wouldn't come here. He'd know we'd be on to it. He's not here. We'll pick the rifles up on the way back. To Norway, to Norway, to Norway o'er the fame, the messianic dreamer, he must bring us him. Today. Today. Gregory. Gregory, an idiot, another missionary, rushing headlong through the centuries, backwards. He has seen coal and all will be revealed. I tell him to go three miles east. Some open cast mining. He goes cheerfully, so ordinary and sober, he is most perfect in his madness.
Well, just in case. Phil, you go around the back. Jim, take the front. And I'll go right. And watch out. You might have got those rifles. Fighting, eh? Bloody? Eh? Naughty dog, naughty dog. <laughs> Stay. No. Hey, tell Alan. Hey, tell Alan. Eat it. Lucky Ron found you. Sanders and his lot would shoot you out of hand. You can't blame them. Precautions. They wouldn't do that because they're frightened. You have to live with it some time to know what to do. Where did it bite you? No. Oh, come on. Through that? Mm. Was it frothing? Shaking foam? No. Face is the worst place. Let me see your arm. <sighs> it's hardly broken the skin. The teeth would be dry, biting through all that cloth. You were wearing the coat. Oh, yes. Was there any foam on your coat? Not like Fenton. He got rabies. Yes, I know. The saliva. What colour? No, the dog wasn't frothing. I think your chances are very good. How did you come to, to know so much about rabies? I was a farmer's wife in Kenya. I've seen a man die from a jackal bite on his face. Face is the worst place. The lower down the bite, the better the chance of recovery. Oh. <laughs> you can stay here a few days. Can you ride a horse? <laughs> Better than walking. Oh, good. <laughs> Ron? Get under the sack, quickly.
Haven't you found him yet? Heard he was coming this way. You haven't seen him, have you, Ron? <laughs> I tried down by the quarry or the caves. You watch out for him. A man with a bad leg, a bad arm. He's got a bad disease. Kill you. Go. Goodbye, Alfreda, and thank you. Good luck. Ah. <laughs> the first time a railway company's waited all day for one passenger. <laughs> <laughs> I'll write to head office and thank them. Oh. 
You still going south? Aye. Just 24 miles, though. That's all we've got in line. Huh? Oh, it's nice to see it back. Aye. Look, can you get onto the main lines? Get all the preserved steamers going, start a national network? Oh, big job, that. Funny you should say that, though. Isn't it, Terry? You what? That chap said the same, didn't he? Get a national network going. Aye, aye, I did. Seeing for survival, he said. What was his name? Um, what was his name, Terry? That chap? Greg, somebody. Aye. Tall. Aye. Fair. Aye. Bit posh, like. Aye. Come on, we'll give you an answer. Did he say where he was going? Who? That chap? Aye. No, he didn't. He said he'd be coming back. Did he say when? No. Friend of yours? Yes, yes, he is. Bad fall from ours. Worst I've seen. Steam saved me. Steam for survival. May I? Or oh, be my guest. <laughs>